I'm joined by John DePaulo, President CEO of the United Way, and this year's campaign chair, Joanne Langlois. It is so nice to see you. Thanks for having us. And congratulations. Thank you very much. Are you looking forward to your assignment for the year? I am really excited. We've just started getting our feet wet, and then we'll be ready for a big surge in September. So that's when they announce the goal, right? Is mm -hmm. the big reveal in, in September. It's uh, usually at breakfast or something like that. Yeah we'll, yeah, we'll launch on, I believe it's September 6th will be our okay. kickoff breakfast and we'll announce the, the yet to be ter determined goal. Uh, so we'll mm -hmm. announce what the goal okay. will be and then uh, we'll uh, launch a lot of our workplace campaigns right after that and uh, we'll wrap up in uh, the end of November and uh, hopefully announce a number that's uh, significantly higher than what our goal was. Well, it usually is. It usually <laughs> surpass the goal, which is pretty cool. No pressure. No pressure there. <laughs> no, not at all. They just keep, you know, bumping it up. So, yeah. you know. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, is there anything going on in the summer as far as fundraisers? Yeah, we, we, we do have a few initiatives going on in the summer months, too. We're working on some uh, ideas with um, the Downtown Kingston Business Association yeah. as well. Still early days with that, but. Um, we have uh, people starting to donate already. We do a bulk of our fundraising in the fall, but uh, some of our community members uh, prefer to give in the summer months or even in the spring months before um, you know they go away to cottage season as well. So uh, fundraising is already underway, but the main push will happen in September. Right. So what are your ideas for this year? What are you gonna do that's different for fundraising? Have you got any, anything in mind? Um, not as of yet for difference, but John and I have been talking a lot about the importance of sort of the very base level giving, the um, the workplace campaigns and where people have their money taken off, their donations taken off their, their paycheck. And that I think is it 64%? Yeah, 64% of the campaign, of the campaign yep. is from workplace um, payroll, deductions. payroll deductions. And so um, that adds up. So if somebody's been giving money for like five dollars a week for the last 30 years before you know it they're at a very significant level so we're looking at ways to recognize that and to as much as we love and need the big donations trying to celebrate some of the smaller wins as well because if, if you don't have a whole lot and you give what you can it's still it you know, adds up, it, it, it adds up. Yeah. and uh you know as i've been saying you don't have to have brit smith's money but you need to have brit smith's heart that's a good way of putting it. Yes, he is dearly missed. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Um, it seems like the focus of the United Way, other years before the pandemic, and it seemed that, it, you know, the things that focuses they, they took. One, I think, was success by six, mm -hmm. and, and, and important stuff, no kidding. But it seems like now it's like, take your choice. What are we going to, you know, like, what's our focus? There are so many needs that. And it just seems like it's since the pandemic. How are you yeah. juggling all of that? Yeah, it, it's a good point. And, and we have tried to narrow our focus a little bit as well, too, because as you said, there are a lot of needs out there. But um, I think some of the areas that we're, we're looking to focus on this year as well and, and for years to come is around, you know, we've, we've got a homelessness problem, too, right? People There's are experiencing one. homelessness um, yeah. uh, more and more uh, since the pandemic as well. I think it, right. it exasperated a lot of that for some of our most vulnerable citizens. and. Um, so that's, that's an area of focus, food security. Uh, we're, we're all feeling the pinch at the grocery stores too. Um, people that have good, well-paying jobs are still feeling the pinch uh, with the rising cost of food. So that, that's an area of focus for us as well. And, and then addictions and mental health services. Um, these are really big, complex issues that don't get solved in a 12-month cycle. Um, it takes multiple years of, of support and investment um, and really takes um, a community to rally behind people that need help like that uh, to really to help those people help themselves as well. What and would your ideas be, um, Joanne? Do you have any ideas of, of what should happen? What should happen? Yeah. No, but I did want to just address what you mentioned, okay. that there are so many um, areas that need help, and that's the best thing, in my opinion, about the United Way, is that when you give to the United Way, you're giving to more than just one organization. And the United Way has been great in the past of um, not just raising money and giving it out but to other agencies, but identifying needs as they come up and, and coming up with creative ideas. Well, that certainly came up during the pandemic, mm -hmm. how fast they pivoted. Mm -hmm. yeah. It was really remarkable and recognizing 
this is what needs to happen because boy we were on uncharted waters on that one yeah. nobody knew what to expect we didn't we just didn't know what we were doing any any of us yeah. and uh, I can imagine your agency was also yeah, we, we just sort of jumped in and did whatever we could at the time, did. right? And, and I think we did. were not unlike any other organization at that point. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, our, the agencies that we provided funding to really, um, you know, as you said, the, they used that pivot word. And they, they just jumped mm -hmm. in and they did whatever they could do to support the people they were supporting. And um, it was incredible. It yeah. was incredible to see the community come together. Um, I think we, we saw some national uh, responses as well, too, from our federal government, and they, they flowed mm -hmm. some money through the United Ways, um, and it really made an impact on our community uh, during the pandemic. Now, you know, we're all still recovering from that, and I think we're still feeling the effects of that, and I think we'll feel the effects of that probably for the next few years as well. Well, I think that was the food insecurity and the mm -hmm. homelessness that it, it seemed, you know, and, and, and certainly I'd, we've probably all been there at some point in our lives where, you know, they say you should have six months socked away just to, oh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I can remember for most of my life that would not have been the case. You're just one really, one paycheck away from. And, uh, um, and I think most people are like that. Then suddenly everything shuts down. So if you were living that way before, you've lost your apartment, then what happens? So I think we're still... In yeah. And housing being a little tight in Kingston, just a little. Mm -hmm. yeah. So yes, yes, of course, especially affordable housing. Yeah, really. There's a yeah. great need for that in the community. And uh, yeah. as you said, a, a lot of us or a lot of people in the community, th you're one major life event away from having yes. you know, a catastrophic event happening to you. You, you. you lose a loved one, you lose your job, you get sick, and um, it can really spiral and, and you could be um, you know, facing a, a homelessness issue as well and the people who never thought they would be there. Absolutely. And I think um, it's important to keep in mind that the old saying there, but for the grace of God, go I. And yeah. to, and to uh, really see and, and acknowledge that and uh, approach it with that perspective because that's where empathy comes from. And yeah. I really uh, think it's important for all of us to try and do that. Yeah, yeah. The uh, fundraising, I, I seem to recall we talked about, what was it, Rocking the Big House? That was yes, a couple yeah, of years yeah. ago. I remember we talking to you about that. So have you got anything big coming up this year that, that's going to be, a, you know, that, that was really wonderful. That was really wonderful. It was a joy to put together. It was a lot to put together, but it was really <laughs> yeah. amazing. Uh, and that's another example of the Kingston community coming together and um, really getting behind the United Way, which it has done for years and years now. Um, and we're working on some different ideas that we're getting mm -hmm. excited about, so they're but in the planning stages now, but, but I'd be happy to come back me. and share them okay. with you in September. You can't tell me what it is <laughs> just yet. That's right. You have money that comes from other sources too, uh, yep. like the, the Kingston Penitentiary comes to mind. What are some of the other places where? Yeah, so the, 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 the funds, the main source of funds obviously is our, our um, campaigns that run in the fall. Um, that. That brings in probably about two thirds of all of our, our revenue for the organization. But we also partner with the federal government um, on a Reaching Home initiative, uh, which is their mm -hmm. homelessness uh, funding support. Uh, so we're what they call a community entity. And so we uh, receive some money from the federal government and then we make sure that it um, is invested in uh, uh, organizations and programs uh, that support our homeless population. That I didn't know. That yeah. is that's so interesting. Wow, yeah. okay. so. If people out there are interested in donating to the United Way or supporting them, how do they go about doing that? Yeah, so you could uh, go to our website, unitedwaykfla.ca slash donate. Um, but you know, not everybody can also donate. If they're, they're looking to get involved and volunteer, uh, right. we do have a volunteer center as well too on our main page that they can go to. And um, it's, uh, it's a great way to, to get connected to your community. We, we see a lot of new people coming to Kingston that want to get connected to their community. And I'm a big believer and there's no better way of getting connected to your community than volunteering. And uh, I agree great. with you, absolutely. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Well, it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you Thanks, for having Donna. us. Appreciate it.